Hi, and welcome back to the Angry Cast. We're working on our beacon shrine here. And today we're going to put on the dome and the fountain in the center. So let's get to it, shall we? Okay, before we build our fountain and our shrine statue, we're going to have to put a dome on this thing so we know exactly how much height we have to work with. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put in this line of dirt uh, in a cross pattern so I can work my way around on the outside and start putting up the blocks that will form the dome. Let's get a little look at it from bird's eye view, and you can see, there you have it. Now here, I've built up a sort of a pseudo stairway so that I can start lining bricks on each of these dirt blocks. These will serve as our guide for the dome. Now, when you're building up the dome, it's always been frustrating, and how do you make it circular and sort of meet in the center? Well, there's a handy-dandy little thing called the Minecraft Circle uh, grid. You can look it up on Google. I'll put a description or a link in the description where you can find it. And it still was frustrating me. How was I going to figure out how to do all this? I had a lot of problems with my windmill that I had built, uh, putting the dome on it. But it, it actually became fairly simple process. Just each concentric ring would be one size smaller, so two blocks in from the previous ring, and you just keep building it up from there. And then you just fill in the gaps when you start to get in towards the center, and you have these little holes sticking down through the roof. And here I am finished capping off this uh, dome, which actually ended up being a point. Uh, <laughs> so I, I realized I needed to go back and fix all this. So I'll start taking this down and to uh, to a level where it seems more dome-ish, I guess you would say. Uh, one of the things that was always, like I said, frustrating was trying to figure out how exactly to come in on each ring to make it uniform on all the sides. And with that Minecraft circle grid, it made things ten times easier. It was still frustrating, and I actually took down my windmill roof four or five times, and I wasn't in creative mode to do it. And eventually I figured out, oh yeah, just go in two blocks, or I guess one block would be two blocks total, and just use the next lower sized circle on the grid. And it became, you know, fairly easy to, to finish it off. And this one took hardly any time at all. There you have our finished dome. Okay, I wasn't exactly finished. Uh, the picture I was using had open uh, sort of an open design on the dome itself, so I wanted to go back in and put this glass in to sort of give it a, a little bit more of a texture. So I put all four sides had glass in it. And then here we are standing in the center of the shrine where we're going to start putting our fountain and our statue, and I just wanted to get a sort of a look around and see how everything looked one last time before I tear it all up. And as you can see, I put in a skylight, so that we, we have to have a beacon in the center, and the beacon's going to shine up through the center, so we needed to have a, an open area for it to hit. So as you can see around the outside, all of my glass in place, and then on the, uh, on the top. Okay, now I've laid out some torches down in the uh, center of the shrine in a diamond pattern, and this is pretty much where I'm going to be putting in the, the fountain. Uh, I'm going to be using upside down um, stone brick steps, and much like a lot of home improvement projects, uh, I put in the floor before I realized I was putting in the fountain, and now I've got to go and dig up the floor so I can <laughs> get underneath it so I can put the steps on uh, upside down. Um, Luckily, I'm being in creative mode. It's not that big of a deal. I'm not going to waste any materials. I'm not going to uh, <coughs> have to dig with a pickaxe. But it's still sort of frustrating that you know you screw up and you have to come back and uh, undo something. Uh, as I said before, the um, windmill 
roof, which was a dome, I undid it several times because I couldn't figure out the circle pattern right. And had I been using survival mode and doing this with a pickaxe, I would have been upset right now that I put steps in the wrong way. But uh, like I said, we could just take that out and <laughs> do it over again. <laughs> Oh, thanks, chicken. Just keep me uh, as my supervisor, my foreman there. So Let's put this in the right way. There we are. And why I used uh, stone half slabs as a guide, I don't know. This is, this, once again, I was doing this really late at night and was getting a little loopy, uh, as I said in the last video. And why I took this out here when I finally realized that uh, steps are easily placed upside down or right side up based on where you point your cursor at on the next block. If you point it on the top of the next block, like on the top of the, the side, top half of it, the steps will go upside down. If you put it on the bottom half of the block, it's going to go right side up. I didn't realize this until way into the build. So I'm just trying to line this up and figure out where I need to put my steps. And we can start working on this and get it all the way done. This took a lot of time trying to figure out how to get the corners right, get the, the angles right, get the shape right, make it all symmetrical so that it looked like a professionally done fountain. I'm going to see what it looks like on the inside here in about a minute. So here we are with our finished ring for the bottom of the fountain. And... Now I'm going to just uh, take a look and make sure that I got it all right, because, like I said before, the uh, I was having a lot of trouble with the corners and making sure that everything looks symmetrical. But apparently it all looks fine, and now we're going to have to put the floor back in. Uh, these half slab uh, stair uh, stones are really useful for building. And with the Sfax um, texture pack, it really makes them look stand out really good. The, uh, the, the the default texture pack is basically just a smooth surface with an outline around it. And I guess everybody doesn't get to see what I see when I when I built it. Uh, they all see probably the, the, the de default textures, but uh, I was really, really impressed with the way the texture pack r worked with these uh, these types of blocks. Uh, for some reason, I think I needed to, he to talk here, or I needed to have enough footage so that I could explain something because I'm still filming me f putting in dirt. I think part of the reason was is I was going to explain about um, going back and fixing things or putting in half steps or something else. Um, one of the things I realized was is that I've taken up this floor probably four times during the build. The first was to put down the fountain which I showed you a little bit earlier. Uh, the second time was to put in the actual bottom of the fountain I made it so I could have water in it, and then at least twice I went down through to put in a room underneath it that was going to hold the beacon. We were having a lot of trouble trying to get the beacon to light up and show up through the, uh, the ceiling. I don't know if it was because there was uh, glass above it or something else was causing an issue, but we could not get the, the beacon to shine through the light. Through the through from being held in the statue. Not to mention that usually you want to have a beacon with some kind of a, a mineral block underneath it, like a block of diamonds block and a pyramid shape, a block of emeralds, block of gold, block of uh, iron, uh, and, and all in the shape of a pyramid, and we didn't have that, so we thought, oh, we need to do that underneath the ground, maybe that's what's causing it to not light up, but we never did figure it out, so we tried it twice, so that totals four times I've had to dig up this floor for whatever reason, and I was getting pretty tired of doing it, so... The only problem I have with these ha uh, stone slabs is that though it's nice to have them so you can build a sort of a, a levels, uh, you can have like a you know, level up, level down, and almost like a step. Uh, when you build with them, it takes twice as long to put them down because you put them down at one slab at a time. It's a lot nicer when you dig them back up with your pickaxe, you can take them both out at once. So this is going to take me a while, and I realized that I should have planned this out better. So that's one of the things you need to really pay attention to when you're doing builds like this, especially if you don't have access to creative mode, or you're not going to be in creative mode. You want to really make sure you have a definite plan on how you want things to look, because you might be digging it back up. And 
resources and materials being what they are, you may have to come back to the mines to go get more steps, um, materials for steps or bricks, or even build more pickaxes to go do it. it used to be in the old days, those, those upside down steps, those when they were just wood, if you busted them up, you lost them, you had to rebuild them again, so it was one of the nice things when they fixed in the, uh, one of the later updates where you could retain the step once you uh, picked it. Let's get these last few blocks in here and then we'll move on to something else. Hopefully, something more than just placing blocks <laughs> underneath the fountain that we built 10 minutes ago. <coughs> I missed a spot. I'll go back and get that one there. <sighs> oh, hi, Pig. How you doing? I gotta go for some bacon right now. How about you? Oh, great. Now he's in the fountain. Nice. Okay, now, taking it down a level, this is the third time I've dug up the floor, because I wanted to put in a basin for the uh, actual fountain, and I built this down two levels, but I forgot that the steps counted as a level, even though they were sort of on the surface and upside down. So I ended up going through this and putting this all down, and then building it uh, a second layer, exactly like the first one because I wanted to bring the water level up just a bit. I wasn't really happy with it being two blocks deep, actually three blocks uh, deep of water. It's one of the problems I have with uh, the wells that they have in the villages is that when they put the wells in, the water level is just low enough that if you get your stealth in there, you can't get out unless you break the, you know, break the side of the well. So, and then I thought, well, well, good choice of words. Um, the uh, fountain needs a little light. You always want to have lights in your fountain. So glowstone block works really well. You don't have to worry about wiring it up. You don't have to worry about electrocuting yourself. Not that that's really concerned. But, <laughs> but I thought it would be nice to have a little pattern of glowstone here to give it a little bit of a light. Because we want to have this, uh, we want to keep this from getting mob heavy. So, there we are. Our entire fountain is done. Yay. All we need left to put in is water. And through the magic of editing and never-ending water buckets, we now have a full fountain. Now I got smart this time around. When I was building the house from the first test video, putting in the pool, I was having issues with uh, water. And I can see that the corner doesn't look right. Something odd about that corner. It looks like it's sort of sloping downward, but apparently that's not the case because I could not fix it no matter what I tried with these uh, extra blocks. But as I was saying, the, the pool I made, I put in all water blocks along the sides and then I had this big huge gap in the center where it wasn't filling up with water. So what I did here was I put down dirt blocks, one layer down, so that I could fill up with the buckets of water and it made a nice uniform still pattern. It wasn't flowing, could just sit in it, it wasn't going to drag you from one side to the other, and then all I did was I just got rid of the dirt and everything just fell down to the bottom level. And then this is where I really noticed that something didn't look right, so I came back in and put in the extra layer, uh, just like the, the bottom, to sort of bring it up a level and make it look a little bit more normal, I guess would be the word. It's also nice that uh, glowstone being in creative mode, I don't have to worry about breaking up this glowstone and only getting back two or three pieces of dust four to make an entire block, and glowstone, you gotta go to the nether to get, which is a pain in the butt. So, finish this off. We're gonna call it here, since we are at about the, almost the 15 minute mark. Uh, if you like what you see, give me, uh, give me some feedback, subscribe, give me some comments, thumbs up, like, share, tell all your friends, tell your cat, come out and see us uh, as we build stuff, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks again, and stay tuned for uh, part three.